we're doing a special edition of Will It Digest here at PitCon, we asked what you wanted to see digested here in Atlanta, and somebody suggested the Georgia Dome. I just happen to have it right here. Don't ask me where I got it from. What we're going to be using is a lot of hydrofluoric acid today, so I'm going to have to wear some extra personal protective equipment. So I'm going to wear my gloves, an extra pair of gloves, and a face shield. So we're going to have to pulverize our concrete, which I've already done in the lab, and I'm going to take a sample and digest it. I'll be right back. So the Georgia Dome is made up of two materials, mainly concrete and Teflon for the actual dome. A lot of you requested that I digest Teflon, but Teflon is so stable that we actually make our vessels out of it. We won't be able to digest it. There's so much concrete in the Georgia Dome, is we could build a sidewalk from Atlanta all the way to Cincinnati, 437 miles away. The concrete is actually made up of calcium hydroxide, silica sand, and other rocks and minerals. So we had to use a lot of hydrofluoric acid. Calcium reacts with hydrofluoric acid to form a precipitate, calcium fluoride. We had to add boric acid in order to complex our calcium and fluoride back so we can get our solution. Um, the calcium would go back into solution. Oh, looks like my sample's just about ready. Let me go pour it out. So here we are, we have a clear digestion. Was I able to digest the Georgia Dome? Yes, I was. 